this is going to be the next window I'm going to replace. I'm pretty pleased with the improvement of the house with changing the windows. So I'm going to go and change some of the ones that are easy to do. Even though this room is one of the first ones I decorated. And we've been using this for guests. I think we'll treat them with a nice double glazed window as well. So I need to take the windowsill off and chisel up the sides to find the fixings to hold the window in. So there's the first metal strap fixing that holds the window in place. Just going to have to expose the other ones then. And then it will be a case of cutting those and pulling the window out. First one of six. Well there we go, that's a new window fitted. I still need to do a little bit of adjustment on it just to make it open and close a little bit easier. I've filled in most of the sides. I need a little bit, skim a little bit more plaster on there just to level them up. And I need to put a piece of plasterboard across the top just to fill in the gap there where it was damaged by the old window coming out. And obviously I need to make a new windowsill to fit this window. But overall, that's just a big improvement again.
So there we go, that's the window all done in this room. Um, the shutters and outside the window have been painted, the plasterwork's been refinished, new window sills on and painted. And if you didn't know, you wouldn't know that anything's actually been done in this room. Well, as you can see, I finally got the two replacement double glazed units to go in the cut down windows. So I need to get this glass inside this frame. As you can see, it the right size. Now these frames do not have a bead around the edge that you can remove to fit the glass in from either side. So I'm going to have to take the end off and then slide the glass in. So let's get on with that. So what holds the glass in is these little rubber seals. There's a groove along on the inside of the window and there's a rib on this. So that has to go into there and fit onto that groove. And then this nice rubber piece here makes a good seal between the glass and the frame. So starting on the outside one first. I'm going to fit this seal in, which should just go in with a push, it's quite tight. But we want tight because that will give it a good water seal. Just flip the outside edge up because it gets caught sometimes. Just using the edge of my scraper. I can just slide underneath there and pull it back out. And this side is where it gets a bit trickier because with the seal on the other side now pushing the glass over this side there's no gap for me to slide this in. So what I do is I'm just using my scraper here, just pushing it between the glass and the frame and that opens it up just enough. Just 
one is tight. That's not going to go. There we go, that's going. Now that's in, I can work my way along, just opening the gap up in front of where I want to push the seal. And that seal is going in really tight, which is what I'm And with those windows put back on, that's this window completed. We now have four opening sections instead of two big ones, but that's not a problem. The best part is no wind or rain can now come in. And from out here in the garden, the new window is certainly in keeping with the rest of the house.